Yo, what's up Zanons? How's it going? So today what we're going to do is run through how to set up a GUI wallet and a CLI wallet and get you started on your journey with Zano. Let's go. So first of all, what you're going to do is head over to Zano.org and head to the download section. Then you're going to download the wallet. Now, which version of the wallet you download depends on your operating system. If you're on Mac, Windows or Linux, just download the relevant file. The process to set this up is going to be exactly the same. Just download it, double click it and the wallet will fire up. Now, we'll just give this a second to download. Bada boom, bada bing. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename this to something a bit shorter zano.app image now i'm going to double click this to start the wallet now on a fresh install you'll be presented with this screen the blockchain will sync if it's a fresh install it can take a few hours now you've got a few options here restore from backup open existing wallet or create new wallet in our case we're going to hit create new wallet and we're going to put the wallet name in which i'm going to put kexploit followed by the password then we're going to select the wallet location and we're going to name the wallet whatever we want in my case I'm going to call it kex.wallet now we're going to enter a password to secure the seed and there's our seed phrase so obviously make sure you copy this save it encrypt it whatever it is you do with your stuffs and click create new wallet that's your GUI wallet set up and you're ready to go with Xano. If you want to, you can register an Elias, which gives you a shorter, you know, more human friendly uh, way to, you know, receive payments. So you could just call this Kexploit, for example. And if you want to receive a payment, you just give your Elias to the, to the you know, the, the payer and they can send payments to, to this instead of the long address, which is here. Okay. Right, so... In order to set up a CLI wallet, it's pretty much just as easy. Let's get rid of that file. Right, so let's fire up a terminal in this folder. Now, what we need to do, we need to get hold of the daemon and the simple wallet binaries, which seem to be no longer on GitHub. Well, at least if they are, I can't find them. So there's a little trick you can do here. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to mount the app image, which basically it doesn't, it doesn't start the whole wallet, but it just mounts the folder which contains all the files that the file, the wallet needs to run. So we're going to, there you go. So you're going to use this command right here. And that's going to give you a location. Okay. So you're going to navigate to that location. There it is. Go to user bin. And then you're going to get, you only need these two files here, but it's just easy just to encompass that one if, with a copy and paste. So, Let's just paste this. Don't need that one. So get rid of that. And we're going to stop this from running. Now, to set up a simple wallet, sorry, to set up a wallet using the simple wallet binary, the daemon is very easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the daemon, which is just this simple. Now, again, if it's a fresh install, it's going to download the whole blockchain. It can take a number of hours. So once that is complete, we're going to head over to just open a fresh terminal window. Now, first of all, the simple wallet binary does have a flag to see, um, you know, all the all the commands by help. <clears throat> so you just put that in there, and you can see everything, um, you know, all the all the, all the flags and, and commands that you can use. Now, in our case, in order to create the wallet, we want to do this command right here generate new wallet and then the name of the wallet put the password in and there you go it's generated the wallet okay in order to fire this wallet up we want this command here simple wallet wallet file and then the name of the wallet put the password in and there you go that's you and your in your CLI wallet ready to go. So the first thing that you're going to want to do once you're in here 
is you're going to want to see your seed and you're going to want to secure that so show seed password confirm password there you go so make sure you take a copy of the seed encrypt it keep it safe whatever it is you do with your stuff so again um, another thing is you want to get you're going to want to know what your address is what am I doing there you go so there's your address so if you need to receive a payment you just give this address and uh, you can begin to receive payments so there you go you set up on Zano um, if there's any sort of developers out there also you're going to you're going to need to you know you're going to be using the daemon and the simple wallet binaries and you're going to want to look into running them in RPC mode so if you want any more information or, or if like me you just like to you know I like to read sometimes as well documentation so you just click docs on zano.org and just uh, type in type in what you're looking for so CLI wallet there is a comprehensive guide on how to install that as well in text form And also any developers or anything like that who's looking to you know develop on top of Xano, you might need to you know look into look there you go how to connect wallet uh, RPC API and so on. So yeah, good luck with your journey into Xano. Peace.